Moment ago here at 10, just getting his second round started. Ches Revi. Yeah. A bit of lingering uh, marine layers just popped over the golf course. No wind to. Yeah, oh, Ches. Come has on. To be. Has to be. That, that's how you get your day started. <laughs> Take a two at the 10th from the fairway. Yeah. Ches Revi all smiles. And this is, the yeah, 13. this Steve is uh, just a moment ago, 31 year old Matt Wallace having some problems here on the par five. His fifth shot. Problem solved. Wallace with the 74 in the first round. All pars so far to start his second round, started on the backside. And over at 12, McElroy, ball below his feet here to a left hole location. Good driver. Yeah, is it going to cover that piece of bunker? It sure is. Now it can spin back off of a ridge. Oh, this is nice from McElroy. Come on. <laughs> oh. Thought you had one there, Trevor. Yeah, what a cool shot. Yeah, at the second, you might have heard a little roar from the crowd. Brandon Grace's second shot down the hill. Oh, come on. <laughs> it sure does. That'll get the crowd going. Even though it's a little chilly. What a shot from Brandon. Eagle two at the second. It's hard to believe, Jimmy, that it's been seven years since he won his last major. I know. Kiwa. I mean, he, he lapped him there as well. Golf's a funny game. <laughs> we ain't laughing. Maybe now. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's a big help. How about that? So Rory gets a lovely quick birdie birdie. Great one at 12 and hits it to six inches. Tee shot now for Bryson DeChambeau. He needs to make something happen. One over on this second round. Difficult par three. Let me just say that's 9.30 local time, Jimmy. 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. And that's a good shot. Great that's shot. a really good shot. Meanwhile, Lanta Griffin with his third at 13. Out of the rough. Get in. How about that? Great piece of judgment there. Now back at the fourth. That's Dylan Wu. With that front hold of the location. Oh, hello. <laughs> What a shot. This was just a moment ago. Neiman's third shot at 12. Stop, stop, stop. Front Lose. left hole location. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. The low spinner. That's some birdie at the long par four. As we go back to Tom Hoagie with his third at 13. I, that's the best one I've seen today from down there in that fairway. And talking of roller coasters, here's Spieth, his third at 12. Big breaker here from the right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jordan Spieth. He's trying. Is it, is it inappropriate to say expect anything different? <laughs> I'll leave that up to Mr. Hicks. Now the wind's starting to pick up. Golf course is going to continue to dry out as the day moves on. And back again to the second, Cameron Smith with his second off that slight downhill lie. But, oh, about that. It can't pull a grace. Still pretty good. It's 10, 11, and 12. Those poles are tough. This is Lee Westwood at the 13th, the par 5, and having some trouble. This is for par. Well, not having as much trouble as I thought. A bit of a struggle for him today. No pars and no birdies on that car. Here in the fairway at the fourth, Justin Rose. 12 over, been a real struggle. And it certainly has in, in this front right hole location. Kind of sits down a low area. If you miss it out to the right, it'll come back. Just like that one has. 
Rosie, the last man from England to win the U.S. Open back in 2013. Before that, it had been a while. Tony Jacklin back in 1970. And Bubba from the fairway. Great tee shot here. If you can get it down this far, this certainly becomes a birdie hole. And it certainly is. Let's go up to 12. And uh, Kevin Streelman for birdie. Oh, how about it? Wow. Wow, what a putt. <laughs> His caddy did say out of the rough it was a beautiful shot. It really is if you do that. So Reed from the bunker, now Rom at 14. Well, short side, very tough shot here. He's got that shot. That's a, a pretty nice bounce back after making a mess of the par 5 13th. Under par right now, one under for the championship. Young man born in Medford, Oregon. Now lives in Evanston, Illinois. How about it? So an easy hole out for Birdie. For Wu? Yeah, balance. and a lot of times it happens uh, with, with young families and kids at home. Short time ago, Mackenzie Hughes in that group with Russell Henley. Found it. Started at two over. Long Birdie putt gets him to one over par. Second and 11 now. Yeah, short and right, just trying to get something to trundle up the slope there. No, he did not do it again. Even more. What? How about that start? I made it from 60 feet on the 10th and then what, what is it in from right of the bunker here at 11. What is going on? Here's English here at 11 for birdie. Starts is one over. Well, this group. Are you kidding I me? I mean, just go ahead and make everything. <laughs> Why don't you? We got the 60 in his hand. Just going to hit this full more. Got to make sure he lands it by the hole. Let's spin off the floor. The ledge. I think he got it all, though. There we go. That'll bring the hometown folks to their feet. U.S. Open champion at Pebble Beach in 2019, where, yeah, by the way, Kepka finished second in that one. <laughs> he sure did. And Gary Wooden, what a week that was. Putted remarkably well and hit shots like that. Brian Harmon to play his third shot here at the par five out of the deep rough. The good news is he's got a good angle hole cut over on the right hand side of the green. Well, should release coming out of the rough. Oh, how about that? Released right into the hole. Ryan Harmon with a three at the par five ninth. Quite a USGA resume he has. A former junior amateur champion, twice a Walker Cupper. Second shot at the par 4 12th. Good tee shot, but far enough back. Can't get an iron club on it. And that is a beauty. Really, really good. Best of the day here at the 12th. Big hump to go over. This is a pretty slow putt. Matthew Wolf. The unexpected one drops. And Wolf has moved it to three under. Well, it has been hard for anybody to even reach from down there, let alone make it. Does have three wins on the European tour. And there you go, Zing. How about it? Well, you could tell he was licking his chops. I mean, he just was lining it up. What a great shot. He needed it after that double bogey. Fourth shot for amateur Joe Long from England. He was a part of the Great Britain and Ireland Walker Cup team. 
that uh, lost to the U.S. at Seminole Golf Club earlier this year. Joe Long, a very impressive player. And you get the feeling you're going to hear a lot more from this 23-year-old. That's birdies at 17 and 18 to make the turn. 24-year-old Guido Miliozzi. Another one of the Italians in this field. Putty from off the green. Round and round it goes. And Guido celebrating his U.S. Open highlight and his first U.S. Open championship. Over at the sixth. This was just a moment ago. Martin Keimer, a lengthy birdie putt. Right about there, it will start moving downhill and head left. <laughs> I'd say that's unexpected. Wow. He's a little late for the package. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Greenside bunker. We'll see what Mr. Magic Hands can do here. Our bunker cam and that was beautiful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Runs it right in the hole. I'd say that's a little magic. The other par five, the 13th, Cabrera Bayo, now his third shot. Judges the bounce and the spin superbly. And that'll be a tap in birdie. For Cabrera Bayo. And over here at six, Dan, this is Davis Shore, 22 year old. Played his college golf at Alabama, first U.S. Open. And that was just a moment ago. Easy three there at the sixth, and a big smile. Got him. Shore, Shore plays for the tie. So back 15. And this is Kang with his third. Oh, Sung Kang. Dropping it home. For a birdie after a disaster at the previous hole. Back at 15, this is Coots. His fourth. We talked about this being an all-name U.S. Open. Roy Coots. That sounds like something out of a movie. So is that shot. The natural. Yeah. 